Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So I've had a lot of questions on how to get a quality audio sound for my voice. As far as microphones and software and interfaces and everything, this is a pretty crisp audio sound for my vocals. I think it sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna show you guys how I got it. So first thing you're gonna need is a Line 6 Pod Farm and an audio interface. I'm using the Line 6 UX2. All you need is an audio interface with an XLR input. So this is an older version of Podfarm. I've had it for a couple years. But this is version 1.12.0. And in the newer versions, you'll be able to get these same items here. So you're going to need noise gate, American classic, and compressor here. Actually, before you do any of this, go down to mixer and set this up right here in this drop down box. It'll be by default on instrument. Make sure you click on mic one. Make sure your XLR microphone is plugged into your microphone one input as well. So here I have both of these sets processed and I have them set so they're not redlining out here. I'm at, I don't know, minus two decibels, minus two decibels here too, something like that. Notice where these levels are at here. I have this one here at about noon. This one's cranked. This one here is about you know, 11 o'clock right here. You can go up or down just to tweak things as you go. Now let's get back into this gear. So for the noise gate, I have mine set to minus 37 on the threshold. On decay, I have plus 59. It doesn't have to be exact, just in the general area. On the American Classic, drives at zero. If I bring it up, you can hear a definite difference in my voice and you don't want that distortion I just turn it all the way down to zero you can put a little bit on there if you like maybe about 10% whatever sounds good to you these have a pretty profound effect on your vocals that's why they're not moved too much but if I turn this one up to 6 9 and 12 you can see a clear difference and if I turn it down a big difference it's all muffled out but that definitely brings out the clarity and it, the same thing goes for all of these, as you can see right here. Brings out the mids right here. It sounds different. Bring it down, muffles it out. It's just, you know, little tweaks that you can change around and do whatever you want with. You can pause it and take a look at this, and you can set yours the way I have mine. I did a lot of tweaking to figure out exactly how I like it, and you could change it up or down one or two, but this is a pretty good medium for the way I like mine to sound. We'll go over to the compressor, and as you can see here, I have this one at about minus 35. If I bring it up, the clarity goes away. I bring it down, it kind of gets really sensitive. So, yeah, right about here is where I like it. The gain, I have mine set about 6 or 7. If you bring it up, you can hear the gain right there. It sounds, It doesn't sound bad but it actually sounds a little better now that I'm listening to it, about eight decibels. So there you go. Another thing you wanna look for is the settings on your audio interface. So on my audio interface, there's a mic one gain knob. I have that set at about the three o'clock position or up to about seven and a half, eight. The output and phones knob are both at about 50% or noon. And there's a little button on the front that when you press it, a red light comes on, it says plus 48 volts. That's for the XLR microphone. I make sure I have that pressed in. So the light is on. Also, if you plan on using OBS, like a lot of streamers do, and stuff where you'd like to record your voice, whatever, in your mic and audio, click on settings, go to properties, and right here, you can select the tone port UX2. That is my audio interface, and that's how you get that set up. I have this set to, actually it's a little high because I'm redlining there. You should keep that same clarity and quality no matter where you move this to, even if I move it way down. Even though my voice is quiet, you can still tell that the quality is there. So that is all I got for today. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. I put out a new video every three days. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.